it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Hi, welcome to the first video of my Learning to Ride Dual Sport series. Uh, I've been riding street bikes for about five years now. I've owned an SV650 and I've learned a lot on that bike and it's been an excellent experience, but it's time for something new. And just this week, I picked up this DR650. Obviously riding off-road is gonna be significantly different than riding on-road. Um, so today uh, we're going up here uh, into these logging roads and we're going to practice slow speed maneuvering, basically going as slow as I possibly can while standing up. Uh, to make sure that I can keep my balance. Uh, the second piece is all about that rear brake. I'm also going to purposefully lose some traction to make sure that I can keep the bike uh, upright and under control under those low traction scenarios. And then lastly, I'm gonna look at body position. I'm gonna uh, practice standing up, I'm gonna practice sitting down and making sure that my body is where it needs to be uh, and see if I can increase my skills because that's what this is all about. Uh, I'm new to this. If you have any tips for me or if you see me doing something wrong and have uh, some constructive criticism for me, please leave that in the comments below. It's a great day, as you can see. Uh, the sun is out after an entire week of rain and clouds and hail. Uh, it's finally in the mid-50s. It's partly cloudy. It's nice. It's a great day for a ride. So let's get into these logging roads and let's get to the video. road actually when I was riding my SV650 I got to this point in it and obviously it's not exactly uh, set up for a street bike and so I had to turn around so once I got uh, this bike this seemed like the perfect place to come uh, for my first rides uh, because uh, you know it was a place that was uh, initially uh, not available to me uh, and now I get to enjoy it uh, to its fullest. So uh, this main road here is all gravel uh, so you can feel uh, some sliding a little bit. You can feel it's not exactly full of traction uh, and then there are logging roads that come off of this main road that are much more uh, dirt oriented. There's mud and ruts and puddles and things like that so that's where we're going to be ultimately heading oops, heading today using that back brake i'm also going to stand up here okay so part of the standing up i've learned is the attack position so i've got my elbows up a bent at the knees my butt's out my head is right over the handlebars Distribute the weight and maneuver the motorcycle. Okay, a little traction loss there. And then there's a good spot that's actually where I went before. Oop. It's such a habit to grab that front brake. <laughs> okay. So I'm actually going to use the back brake to slide. We're sliding. Alright. Crazy. Alright, got some here. Alright, do 
pretty good, I think. There we go. Okay, we're gonna downshift. Coming around the corner. Go through here again. I oh, you know. Man, it is exhausting standing up. But it's fun. Leaning forward. going to be interesting is if I'm able to find a piece of my helmet that fell off up here when I crashed. Okay. All right. Ooh, it is muddy up here. All right. Nice and consistent. Lean back. There we go. This is where I crashed, right? Oh. All right. So I'm actually gonna stop here and I see it already. <laughs> There's a piece of my helmet that came off when I crashed. I wonder if I can just pop it on without looking, huh? I don't think so. Oops. All right, well, whew, man, it is exhausting. Standing up, will it fit my tool kit? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so I'll fix that when I get home. So, this is the scene of the cry. <laughs> uh, about a week ago when I took this out for the first time came through this way here and tried to turn uh, hit that front brake uh, I was standing up but I didn't really know how to stand up and so I just washed out and ate it and it uh, it hurt I was extremely thankful for wearing I was extremely thankful that I was wearing my gear uh, my helmet I it was very loud when I hit the ground uh, my my boots, they're not full-length boots. I'm getting uh, full-length boots in the mail soon um, But my boots do have TPU inserts. They do have armor in them. My legs have armor in them My shoulder has armor on it. My shoulder was very sore the next day, but uh, serviceable and uh, And it was good. It was uh, an excellent learning experience and and what ultimately got me to Realize I had a lot to learn. And I didn't really know what I was doing, right? So <coughs> What we're gonna do now is Set up the camera and practice some of those drills. All right so between The wood and the wood there. I'm gonna be practicing going really slow as slow as I can go uh, while still holding uh, uh, control over the bike and uh, we'll see how we do. I'm going to go back and forth 10 times, something like that. Uh, and hopefully uh, I learned some good uh, skills. Let's get to it.
All right, so that was pretty good. Between this marker here and this marker here, controlled, I was able to do about eight seconds. I did get to 10 once, but my foot came down right at the end. Uh, all, all in all, I think pretty good for a first run. A lot of clutch control was the key. When I started falling, using the gas to get me out rather than putting my foot down. That's what I'm practicing. All right, so we're gonna keep going down this road, find a good spot for the next drill. And that's gonna be controlled slides with a locked uh, back tire using the rear brake. Let's head down the road. So just wanted to jump on the audio uh, recorder was not recording during that first drill. Uh, so hopefully the uh, kind of recap I did at the end picked up on the camera uh, audio. If not, I'll do a voiceover uh, during the edit. Um, just taking a break now. It is exhausting riding dirt. Um, uh, it uses muscles that I didn't realize I needed. <laughs> and so I have a lot of getting into shape uh, to do. Uh, but I'm just uh, kicking back, relaxing, taking a break, taking my time. I think that's going to be an important part about this whole adventure is just learning uh, at the right speed, not trying to push myself too hard while also challenging myself uh, and making sure that I get to take in the view. So uh, I'm up here. You can see a uh, pretty incredible uh, forest, mountain area. I'm up here with my new ride and uh, just hydrating, <laughs> caffeinating. All right. So uh, I think next drill, I'm going to head down this road here and uh, see what we can find. Hopefully we can find a spot with a good view and uh, we'll do some uh, controlled skids and see how we do. All right. See you there. Excited for sure. Got the wind knocked out of me. Sure, I damaged some ribs. It hurts in there. So just taking it easy. I'm fine. I'll be. I'll survive. My wrist hurts really bad as well. My bike still on the ground. I tried picking it up a couple times. Wasn't able to with my ribs in the way they are. So I'm just gonna rest, kind of relax, and try again. 
I'll be back. All right, so it's been uh, three days since that ride. Uh, I had every intention of getting the video back on to show how the end of that day uh, played out. Uh, as the adrenaline started wearing off, uh, the pain was pretty significant. And so uh, obviously my priorities were uh, focused elsewhere. So uh, I wanted to jump on and talk about uh, how the rest of that day played out. Um, uh, let you guys know what my condition is, what my injuries were, uh, how I'm doing. I tried picking up the bike uh, a couple more times. Uh, my ribs uh, and conditions just didn't allow me to do it. There was excruciating pain anytime I tried to pick the bike up. Fortunately, I was able to call a friend who lives uh, in a town nearby. They were available to rescue me. I was out on some logging roads. Luckily, I did have cell reception, so I was able to call somebody for help. He came and uh, lifted the bike up. There was no real damage to the bike. His wife drove me home in his truck while he rode my bike uh, back to my house. By the time I got back to my house, the pain was significant. Again, it had been a couple hours since the crash, and I was really starting to feel the pain, and I needed to go to the hospital, where I got a CAT scan, where I got some morphine injections, uh, as well as some other pain meds to help manage the pain. With the CAT scan, they scanned my chest, and then they also used an x-ray machine to scan my wrist. My wrist was sprained. You can see I have a uh, brace on it. Uh, it's feeling much better. I can move it a decent amount. The CAT scan, on the other hand, did show that I had broken four ribs on my right side, and that's where all of that pain was coming from. Unfortunately, anybody who's suffered pain uh, or, or damage to their ribs understands that there's not a whole lot to be done there besides pain management uh, and rest to get it back to where it is. So that's where we're at at the moment. Be looking for more videos from me regarding moving into a dual sport type riding. Uh, with that said, it will be a while before my next video comes out. I have a little bit of healing to do, the doctor says. Uh, it'll be about two to four weeks before I feel better and about four to eight weeks before I'm in tip-top condition ready to uh, do my normal uh, activities again. So once that happens, you can't expect more videos from me. I plan on continuing to learn and continuing to share that adventure with you. But for now, thanks again for watching. Be safe.